Hi everyone and welcome to another laser engraved map video. Today we're making a map using a new US state shapes feature in Laser Map Maker. This feature is especially useful to add customization for your clients and customers. As always, our engraved map is a three-step process. Generating our map using Laser Map Maker to an SVG file, editing our SVG file in Xtools Creative Space, and then cutting and engraving with the Xtool M1 Ultra. Let's go ahead and head over to Laser Map Maker and start a new project. I'm going to select Starter Template and hit Create Project. Here is our default location of New York City. And let's go ahead and pick our state shape. Here on the Map Shape menu, let's go to the US States and then we're going to pick South Carolina. Here we see the triangle shape of the beautiful Palmetto State. Now let's go and select a location in South Carolina. I'm going to put in Columbia. This is the capital, which is near the middle of the state. And now we're going to zoom out and adjust the map. Once we're satisfied, let's go ahead and make the adjustments to our layers. Currently, our map has three layers. We're going to keep all three layers for this project. I'm going to toggle the inspect mode so that we can identify the features in the map. Let's look around and we're going to select this purple feature. Here on the left, we're going to find it highlighted in the roads layer cut. We're going to move this to another layer. To move it to a different layer, we're going to delete it from this layer and then add it back in the land layer engrave. You can see it pop up here. Now we're going to adjust the thickness of the line. It's currently at a 7. We can play around with the sizes and see which one we want. I'm going to select 2. Next thing I want to do is change the thickness of the border. Starting with the land layer cut, let's change the border from 30 to 25. And let's do the same to the other two layers. Remember, if you change the border, make sure to change it on all of your layers so that it will line up correctly. Once everything is done, let's go ahead and preview export. Here's the land cut layer. Here's the land engrave layer. And here's the roads cut layer. Everything on the left is going to be at default. And let's generate the map. Once the download zip button lights up, we can download the file. Let's download the output and extract the files. Here are all three files. Now on to part two. Let's edit the files. We're going to start by dragging all three outputs into Xtool Creative Studio. Selecting all three maps, let's align them. I usually pick horizontal align center and vertical align center. And here you can see they're aligned perfectly. Next, we're going to go into each of the grouped images and delete the rectangle around the maps. There will be three rectangles to find and delete. After that, you can do whatever fine tuning you like to do to the map. This includes adjusting the engrave and cut settings and deleting any parts of the map you don't want to include in the final product. I usually like to change the small bodies of water from cut to engrave because when the cuts are too small, they tend to burn and don't look good to me. The next thing we want to do is create a backboard in the shape of the state. This is pretty easy. Simply go to one of the maps and select the outside border and create a copy. Now we have a simple state outline. Now for some text. Here we're going to add a rectangle to the top of the roads cut layer. And add some text. This one's going to say Columbia, South Carolina, because that's where I centered the map. Now we're going to select the rectangle and all the shapes underneath it and click subtract at overlap. This merges the shapes together. Now we double click the shape to edit. Here you can see all the lines connected by dots. 
Using the scissors tool, we're going to delete all the lines that we don't want to cut. And here's our final space. Let's unhide our text and make sure it's in the right spot. And finally, we're going to add a star over the state house. Now let's prep our layers to cut. I like to separate out my maps into their own canvas. Here we're adding three more blank canvases and I'm putting a map layer on each canvas. Here is the back layer, which is just the simple state cut. Next is the combination of the land cut and land engrave. So the cut portion are going to be the water features, so rivers and lakes. Here we have the top layer, the roads cut. All right, now on to part three. Here's the M1 Ultra. Let's go ahead and add in a piece of wood. All right, here is our bottom layer. Let's load the next piece of wood for the next layer. And now our last layer. All right, everyone, and we are done with the cuts. So we've got the three pieces. Here is the first one. Here's the top layer. It says Columbia, South Carolina up there. And then we got the roads, the major roads. Then we have the cut and engrave. So we've got some of the water features here. We have our star that is cut out and we have the engraved roads. And finally, we have the back piece. And so what I wanted to do is actually paint the back piece blue so that you can see the water. And this uh, star here where the state house is, is going to be red. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it so that we can paint this section red and then the rest can be blue. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to paint this red, just this red middle section. And then we're going to paint some blue around the edges here. I'll double check, make sure we got everything covered. Okay, now we're gonna wait for the paint to dry. So the paint has dried, now we have one final step and it's to glue the pieces together. Here, let's go ahead and put some glue on the middle piece here. And this is wood glue that I'm using. Gonna spread it out using a sponge brush and put the two pieces together. And here's the top piece. All right, everyone, and we are done. Just take a look at our map. Isn't it nice? 
So this is three layers. We have the water here in blue. We have a little star cut out here for the state house. And over here it says Columbia, South Carolina. So as you can see, making these state maps is really easy with the shapes feature. And I can't wait to make maps for all the other states. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.